Hello everyone. Did you know that there is a standalone command line version of the NVIDIA Optics Denoiser available? This is kind of big news and I'm very, very happy that uh, Sir Martin Noble left a comment on my recent video about how to fix render sparkles with Photoshop. So the denoiser usually is tied into a render process, either in Blender or Das Studio, even in Substance Painter and in Clo, as well as in Octane. There's always some kind of a denoiser available, but sometimes it just doesn't kick in. So like if I have an image rendered in Das Studio that is too large, then I stand a chance that after half an hour or an hour, my denoiser just hasn't kicked in and the image is still grainy. And rather than throw that away, restart that studio, find other workarounds, I can just go and use this command line tool to denoise the image after the fact. This is big news and I thought I'm going to show you where to get it and how to use it. So this is a Windows command line tool written by a friendly chap named Declan Russell. Thank you so much for doing that. He gives you the source code here on his GitHub repository and you can go and compile this yourself, which requires his source code. It also requires the optics and the CUDA SDK and a serious amount of command line knowledge and like hacker coding knowledge. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about this because we can just go ahead over here to the releases tab. I'll leave a link to this GitHub repository in the description, of course. But if you head over here to releases, then you get pre-compiled versions that you can just download. So the latest version is this one here, uh, made September 24th, 2019, version 2.4. This is a zip file. When you download that, you can just go and unzip it and then start using it. Declan also has a website. I'm going to link to that as well. He explains a little bit about the project and shows you a bit of a before and after example here. But let's make that happen, you know, r right here, right now. So I haven't really put it anywhere special. Mine is still on the in the downloads folder. This is it here, Denoiser 2.4. And you see all these files in here. So if you want to use this regularly, you're going to have to go put it somewhere safe. Don't put it in the downloads folder. I have a little pictures directory in here. I just did this for practicality because in here I have four noisy images that I'm going to show you how to denoise. So I'm not going to go into this. This does require some knowledge of how to use the command line. So I'm not going to go too much into that. I'm just going to go and copy the full path of where this folder is out. So I do that by right clicking on it, heading over to properties and then under security, I get this, this path here. So I go and copy that out. And this is how I can call the the denoiser. So at the bottom left here, I'll type in CMD in Windows to bring up the command prompt. And that brings me to this kind of scary window here. If you're not familiar with that, you know, that's, that's, that's totally fine. I don't blame you. Not everyone's, not everyone's in for that. If I go and type in CD space, and then I paste in the path and hit return, then I'm basically at the location where I was in my Windows Explorer. And if I now type in denoiser, hyphen hyphen help, then I see the version number and it's basically waiting for me to type something in here. And this is where the magic happens. So there's a there's also a tool here if you want to denoise an image sequence. Uh, Declan is kind enough that he goes and shows you how to uh, how to do that as well. So the usage is very simple. You just type in denoiser, and then you type in hyphen i for the input, followed by the path of where your picture is that you want to denoise, and then hyphen o for the output. So in my case, my directory is pictures, and then I'll go and say I believe one is called. I'll just put this over here so I can remember what that is. So one is called cinema. So I'll go and say pictures cinema.png. And then I'll follow it by the output. So hyphen O. And that's also going to go into pictures. Perhaps I say cinema2.png. And then I type and then I hit return. And then it goes to work and you know, wishes you Merry Christmas because it was compiled or devised at Christmas. And then it tells you this has happened in 0.2 seconds and I've saved the image and everything is cool and hunky dory. So that's how the process works. So it's not a GUI, it's not a it's not a nice graphical user interface. It's literally just a tool you use on the command line. And that makes it very powerful. Let me show you the picture from before. This is something I've rendered in Blender. This is from the intro sequence of my, this is not the denoised image, by the way. This is something that I've rendered with 10 iterations, 10, 20, 10 iterations, I think 10 samples in Blender. And this is how noisy it was. But if I go to the denoised version, this is what it looks like. And it is in 0.2 seconds, which is rather cool. So if you'd rather render out 
images without the denoiser. If you don't want the denoiser to get in the way during rendering, you can always go and stop the render early and see at which point the denoiser would make sense. So you can build up a bit of a baseline and see, is this enough for me to get away with? Because things like 10 iterations render is incredibly fast. Let's have a look at another one. This is an image of a girl here, and it looks okay, but it's one of those where the denoiser just hasn't kicked in. And if I go and zoom in closer, I can see what's happening here. So like on the hair, I can see there's quite a bit of noise, and this isn't immediately obvious because the image was so large that I just didn't see that earlier. So let's go and bring our denoiser back here. So this is just girl. So I'll just go and type this in again that you can follow along. So denoiser hyphen i wherever your picture resides so that's girl dot png and then we type hyphen o for output there are other options here that is explained up here when you type in hyphen hyphen help uh, so you can tweak the amount of blending for example that happens between the old image and the new image you can specify in albedo if you want but we're not going to do that we're going to go put this into pictures and we call this one girl 2.png we hit return and wait for the big result this is a larger image so this might take a little bit longer there we go 1.2 seconds still not bad at all so here's the one we had before and this is the one that is being written now in the same directory so this is the denoy the sorry this is the noisy version and this here is the denoised version so it recognizes alpha channels as well so this this doesn't have a background this here is all just gray because that's just rendered with alpha and look at that quite impressive so skin detail is still there might not come out on the video but it certainly does come out uh, here for me on the monitor and no noise there anymore at all so very very fascinating and i like the idea that you can do it on arbitrary images as well i have a couple others here this is an image of spider-man that I've made, editorial license and all that. Look at that, there's a ton of noise in there. I think this was 20 iterations. This was made in Das Studio. And that this has kind of a uh, blurry, out of focus background here. Let's see what the denoiser can do with that. So this one is called uh, Spider-Man. You can just tap um, the cursor up and then you get to the last command that you typed here. So I can just over type this with Spider-Man. And then same thing here, I can call this one Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man tooting, just so that we have it next to one another in the Explorer. And there it is. I have another one with the flash. I might just do that as well. So flash is the same, same idea. Flash, and then we'll call this guy here flash2. And whoops, that didn't work. Oh, it's called the flash. Sorry, yes, it's not, it's not just flash. It's the flash. <laughs> crazy because it has it's called the flash there we go while this is doing that let's have a look at the output here so this is the noisy image noisy spider-man and if i go to the next one i can see denoised spider-man so notice that this isn't perfect so this with 10 iterations you really can't expect any miracle so i can see some blurry patches here that if i look really closely these reflections in the background they're not entirely round as they were if you would let the image render a little longer but it's really not a problem to uh, give it like 100 or even 500 or 1000 iterations and then use the denoiser it's still going to look better than uh, trying to having to render this image with like 10 or 20000 iterations which is going to take you two hours so it'll very much depend on the picture content so these images they kind of lend themselves to being denoised here that's the flash and uh, he's, he's extremely noisy this is also 20 iterations so i made it deliberately really really noisy just so that we can see what this thing can do and this is the denoised version and you can see completely flat background here no noise anymore at all you look at the eyes they don't look perfect because there was just not enough detail for the denoiser to work with so that's something you'll have to try out that you might have to go and give it more than 10 or 20 iterations you should really give it like 100 500 or 1000 and um, then if the denoiser for some bizarre reason hasn't kicked in you can just do this with the standalone command line version and the cool thing is also if you had old pictures that have film grain in it that would benefit from denoising you can use those as well like any image that you can find can go through the denoiser
There's just one last thing I wanted to let you know uh, that Declan on his GitHub page here at the on the very front here, that's the link that gets you to the basically the front page of the GitHub repo. If you scroll down here, there's these two images like the one is noisy, the other one is denoised. He had a lot of requests, I, as I can imagine. There's a simple sequence batch script available here. So you can use this to denoise an image sequence. If you had like 200 images or 1000 or so in a folder, then you can use this. And the cool thing about this is that it sets variables at the beginning here. So uh, what is the image extension? What is the path to the denoiser? So it can be in an arbitrary location. And then here's the uh, output prefix of the denoised image. And then it would just go and go through the whole folder and write denoised versions out and then just stop automatically. So you need a little bit of command line knowledge to make that your own. But thank you so much for the tips, Sir Martin. I really appreciate that. This is a wonderful tool. I'm going to make good use of it. And no matter if you're using old images, new images, things from your iPhone that were shot in the dark and are super grainy, or your denoiser hasn't kicked in in Dash Studio Blender or any of the other rendering apps, you can now just denoise your images after the fact. I love it when a plan comes together. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. I appreciate your comments, your likes, your suggestions, and your wonderful support on Patreon, Kofi, and through YouTube, and through Twitch, and through any of the other avenues that might be lurking out there somewhere. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.